It has been several years since anyone has came out with anything uh, different for the Smith & Wesson Victory. You know the Smith & Wesson Victory is dear to my heart. Uh, I made a video on it when it first came out seven or eight years ago. I have put tens of thousands of rounds through victories. And when I'm doing precision shooting, usually I pick up my Smith & Wesson Victory build. And you know, past three, four years, no one has really came out with anything super awesome for the Victory until now. Gemtech has now their integrally suppressed barrel for the Smith & Wesson Victory. Now, the overall length of this section that you see up here is almost nine inches, but there's only a three inch barrel. If you see this line right here, the barrel is only three inches long. The rest is a monocore suppressed. So this is an integrally suppressed Smith & Wesson Victory, and it is super, super quiet. What's attached to this mist is a Performance Center uh, Victory, okay? It comes with a tandem cross grips. It comes with extended magazine release. Your rail and everything's still the same. A little bit better trigger than that of a regular Smith & Wesson Victory. And this firearm is super, super quiet to shoot. So I have loaded up some magazines of CCI Standard um, that shoot around uh, 1,070 feet per second. I've got some mini mags that are shooting around 1235, 1240. And the claim to fame of this integrally suppressed uh, barrel on the Victory is that you can shoot anything 1600 feet per second or lower and still achieve subsonic uh, sound. So that means I'm gonna be shooting some velocitors that are traveling over 1400 feet per second out of a rifle. And I'm gonna see if they stay subsonic out of this little setup. All right, so got loaded up some CCI standard here. These are traveling at 1,070 feet per second out of a 18-inch uh, barrel. But out of this pistol, uh, they're probably going to be traveling around, I say about 900-ish, 890 to 900. Let's just do some shooting. Whoop. Now, it is kind of cold out here a little bit. So that wax built up on those CCI standards don't want to make the magazines work right. So that's a little tip that we're probably going to get into another video about. So I'm going to go out here at 100 yards again and just listen how quiet I'm just going to shoot the dirt. That is super, super quiet. You can, that's one cool thing. I don't know if you could hear it on my mic or not, but when you're shooting steel or rimfire that's suppressed, you can actually hear the ricochets, which is super, super cool. Now, let me show you what the benefit of having an integrally suppressed victory over the standard model would look like. So what is the real benefit of having an integrally suppressed firearm, okay? The big difference is the size, okay? So this is the mist. And this is a regular Victory with a suppressor on it. You can tell the difference, okay? There's the six inch of a quartz and barrel right here with a regular 22 long rifle can. It's about three to four inches longer, okay? That also makes the firearm a little top heavy. It's no big deal to a lot of people, but some people that want a much lighter package, a much smaller package, they want a integrally suppressed uh, firearm such as the Mist here. And plus, let's just be honest, it looks pretty cool. Now, I've got loaded up some CCI mini mags. Those are traveling at 1,235 feet per second. And the good thing about having a three inch barrel out of this mist instead of a six inch barrel, it's going to be quieter when you shoot. So you can shoot those high velocity and even hyper velocity rounds much, much quieter. All right, now we're gonna do some shooting. I'm gonna show you the difference between the Victory with a six inch barrel with a suppressor on it and the mist that is integrally suppressed. How much quieter the mist is compared to a regular standard uh, barrel on I mean, a suppressor on a six inch barrel. Mist. It is noticeably quieter than that of a standard 22 suppressor. One thing that is kind of pointless is shooting a hypervelocity round out of a suppressed firearm. Um, it helps with the ears, but you still get that pop, okay? These are some CCI velocitors. These are traveling at 1,435 feet per second. And the claim to fame on the Gemtech Mist here is that it will actually shoot anything 1,600 feet per second 
and lower subsonic. So these are traveling at 1,435 feet per second out of an 18 inch test gun. And I guarantee you they're gonna stay subsonic. So I'm just gonna shoot the bank. Subsonic, you did not get that pop. Still very quiet, and I can tell the recoil difference because it is a much faster moving bullet than that of the standard velocity. So if you're going to be hunting or anything on an integrally suppressed setup like this right here, the Velocitors would be the way to go. Before we wrap up this video, let me talk about uh, the red dot that's on here. You guys are going to ask the questions. This is the CT Rad Pro. Uh, it has a 3.5 MOA red dot and has an ambient light sensor. So if it's brighter outside, it will get brighter. If it's dimmer, if it's a darker room, it will go a little bit darker. But you can also increase and decrease the brightness on each side. It's a great little red dot. I've got it on a lot of my setups. And now we'll be shooting some CCI suppressor. These are some 45 grainers traveling at 1,000 feet per second out of a rifle. Let's just see if this little setup will cycle it. Man, it takes forever for that to get there, but that lob is worth it. Pretty, pretty easy. Now I'm gonna try something. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but there is a little three inch plate, uh, or four inch plate, excuse me, out there at 100 yards. Let me see if I can dial it in. Let's see the accuracy of this barrel. Before we turned on the camera, I hit it three out of five times, but that could be different now. But I am using different ammo that I was using. So let's see if I can just dial it in here. I don't know where I'm going. I think I'm going just a little low. Let me aim a little higher. Oh, I nicked it. There we go. All right, I hit it. I hit it two out of 10 times, but this thing is super, super quiet. If you're looking for an integrally suppressed barrel system and you already have the victory, I would suggest this little Gym Tech Miss. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Until next time, y'all be safe and keep linking.